The first ever experiment to estimate the number of bacteria on Earth came back with this chilling summary. They are everywhere. And they literally are. In 1928, we discovered, albeit accidentally, a weapon against the bacteria called antibiotics. And since then, we've been able to develop antiprotozoal, antifungal, and antiviral medication. But our understanding of the microbial world is still very limited. If humans can be credited with creating an art form out of war, microbes have us beat on survival. They have been around since way back when, living in and around every organism ever. And now they're showing their cards. And it's a royal flush. We thought we had beaten the microbes, but honestly, we didn't even understand the rules. Upgrad Future Forward. Stories from the now, about the future. Microbes are finally learning how to adapt to our traditional weapons like antibiotics and are even learning how to beat them. The emergence of the deadly fungus Candida auris was one of the first signs of a brewing storm. Then came other superbugs. These superbugs are mutated variations of the bugs that we had been encountering but hadn't been able to do anything about them because our medicines simply did not work on them. But these somewhat but not exactly intelligent beings have found their match in another not exactly intelligent being. Artificial intelligence has taken over the battle against these superbugs and is marshalling their troops to complete annihilation. Researchers at MIT have created a super antibiotic to crush these rebel pathogens. To find these new antibiotics, a deep learning algorithm was first trained to identify the kinds of molecules that kill bacteria. The algorithm was fed the information on the atomic and molecular features of nearly 2,500 available antibiotics and other natural compounds. The model was tested on the growth reduction of E. coli bacteria. Rather than working on existing antibiotic compounds, the researchers wanted the algorithm to take radical approaches that could catch the superbugs unaware. The algorithm was fed the data of over 6,000 compounds currently active in various human diseases. Now the algorithm knew what made a potent antibiotic and was set to find new compounds that could kill these superbugs. One compound in particular, now christened Halicin after 2001 A Space Odyssey sentient AI, HAL, has been touted as the beginning for a new age in antibiotics. It was previously being researched for diabetes treatment but was discontinued due to poor results. However, the AI was not quick in overlooking Halicin and the lab results have shown that it is a broad-spectrum antibiotic that has had great success against Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bug that causes TB, and against other bacteria that have shown resistance towards the highly potent Carbapenems antibiotics. These antibiotics are used as a last resort in extreme infections. Halicin does not work like your normal antibiotic. It isn't a bactericidal, antibiotics that attack the cell wall of a bacteria and kill it. Neither is it a bacteriostatic, antibiotics that limit the growth of a bacteria. Halicin simply sequesters the iron from the bacteria cells. This makes it difficult for the bacteria to maintain the desired pH balance, without which the bacteria loses its ability to maintain an electrochemical gradient across its cell membranes, which then leads to a loss of other necessary functions like storing energy. This inability to maintain the pH balance leads to cell demise. This technique is so novel that Halicin is being tested for major bacterial infection. With the success of Halicin, the algorithm is set to start working with a database of over 1.5 billion compounds. The last results showed that out of the 100 million compounds tested, two compounds were found to be extremely potent antibiotics. The next step for the algorithm would be to develop antibiotics that do not operate in the same fashion as carpet bombing. Because not all bacteria are bad, they perform critical functions in your body and without them, you wouldn't operate properly. They are so much smaller than a human body cell. Scientists estimate that there are 1.3 more bacteria for every single human cell, which raises a rather interesting question, are you more bacteria or human? If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from Upgrad.